you've studied the biology, you've studied the application, you've got a vision, I would say just put your head down and do it. I think the successful inventors I know are very tenacious and they just stick with this. It may take years, it might take 10 or 15 years, but the drive to learn something new, to drive to deliver something for our patients for patient care, it's all wrapped up in the same equation and you'd be surprised if you just hang in there, good things really do happen. I would say the most important thing is to truly understand the problems that are worth solving. And that's a personal definition, which means you have to fall in love with the problem that you're working on. You can't um, work on actually personally helping to take care of people without getting emotional and passionate about it. And what I found is it's that passion is what carries you through. Chase the problem wherever it takes you and see if you can't then exert your influence on making the world better by the solutions that you can develop. I think the one single piece of advice would be um, to really explore the opportunities that we have now regarding inventions and commercialization. And I think that's, that really is the single piece. Look at it, if it's not for you, don't do it. But I almost guarantee that if you get, step into that world, you love it because what you do becomes useful. Start with a particular patent that you may have heard of by word of mouth that's as close as possible to the area where you're doing your work and uh, that taking the time to do that, which is uh, uh, hard work, uh, can often be a very valuable way to augment uh, your journey to cross the chasm to successful commercialization and impact of what you're doing. And as we think about you know, these rooms, it's, it's of course they're physical entities and they're wonderful names and plaques, but today and over the time we've been here and going, future, going into the future, these are places where innovation is occurring. And for us, it's thinking about the application of the invention, thinking about the business relationships that will drive it through, and, and bringing uh, 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 ideas to bear on top of these uh, incredible breakthroughs. Honestly, my inspiration is just the, like what this whole institution is about, which is helping people. My driving force was to see if we could leave it better then we found it. Mm -hmm. Inspiration-wise, um, this idea that maybe my children don't have to suffer what their grandparents had. And I think that's why it makes it feel good on the inside. But I want to go work in a department where people have the courage to take on whole industries and, and make things better. So my inspiration is the makers of the world. So my inspiration really was, naturally I ended up in this environment where um, there's a lot of problems and being a scientist you know there's it's in your DNA to solve a problem 